Hi guys, welcome to Udoka. My name is Demi and today we're going to talk about how to make your hemp drops taste, well, less hempy. As you guys know about Indoka, we don't want to change the taste of our hemp drops because we believe in the taste of nature, we think it brings an extra natural element to our products and we don't want to, you know, mix it with vanilla or strawberries. But that doesn't mean that you can't. Alright guys, so let's have a look at what kind of products we're working with today to try and make the hemp drops taste that little bit less hempy. So, we have honey. Obviously, ideally, you're going to go with an organic honey that's from a local supplier where you know that bees are taken care of well and they're well loved. We have essential oil, so you can go with peppermint, you can go with lemon oil, whatever kind of flavor or, or, or blend is your favorite. Just make sure it's an essential oil that's made for human consumption and that it's organic, obviously, like everything, right? Now we come to everyone's favorite, chocolate, of course. We grabbed some empty capsules from the local pharmacy. The pharmacy was nice enough to give us these for free. Um, but you can find them in any pharmacy. Our pharmacy that we went to had three different sizes, so small, medium and large. So depending on your dose, you should be able to find empty capsules that will fit the amount of CBD oil you need to use. All right, so let's start. So let's start with the honey. You see, not that much. You can put less or more, it's completely up to you. And then one, two drops. All right. And then, you let it sit under your tongue, like normal. Yes, we'll have some honey in different places, but it's not a big deal because the mucus, the mucus membranes are under your tongue, but also inside your cheeks. Next method is the essential oil. Now, be careful with this one because essential oils are very strong. So you don't want to burn the underside of your tongue. So we're going to actually start with the CBD oil this time because the CBD oil is going to act as a carry oil for the essential oil. So. Let's assume one, two, three drops. And then we only want one drop of essential oil. And mix it a little bit with the tip. Da -na -na. And now, like you would with the honey, under the tongue, leave it a little bit longer because there is less liquid. You want to make sure it all touches the bottom of your tongue. And now we wait. You guys probably will notice a bit of a bitter aftertaste after using the essential oil because it is quite strong. But if you've used a flavor that you like, for example, lemon peel oil, I've used lavender, you still get a little bit of a bitter aftertaste. However, all you can smell in your nasal cavities and everything is, is lavender or lemon peel oil or whatever blend you're gonna use. So yes, you can still taste the hemp seed oil and yes, you can taste the essential oil. However, you are left with this lovely floral aroma in your mouth instead of grassy hemp taste, right? Okay, now the third method. So this is most people's favorite method. It's the chocolate method, woohoo. I've got a small piece of chocolate here that's melting in my fingers. So as you can see, it's melting. It's gonna melt very fast under my tongue. So I'm gonna pop this under my tongue and wait a little bit until it's a little bit softer. And then I'm gonna put some CBD oil drops under my tongue. Mm -hmm -hmm. The chocolate is melted, so. Now I'm going to put the CB oil under my tongue. Obviously, after that one minute of sitting on your tongue with the chocolate, swallow the CBD oil and you're done. Super delicious. All right, so there's one more method that I'm going to show you guys. It's a little bit more elaborate. You will most likely have to go out and buy these, um, but it's a great way of testing out to see perhaps CBD oil isn't the best option for you, perhaps a capsule is. I bought the medium size, but there's bigger, there's smaller, as I mentioned before. So whatever your dose is, so you do one, two, three, four, five, pop the capsule back on, and so there were four ways to help mitigate the taste of your CBD oil. To be honest, my favorite was by far the honey. You could, I would say you can't even taste the CBD oil, but obviously there's people with different levels of sensitivity than me. Obviously chocolate was the most delicious one because you got a whole mouthful of chocolate, but it did kind of stick to your mouth a little bit. So everyone's different. It totally depends on you and how you like to take your CBD. Uh, I think the capsules are a really great option because it lets you explore the idea of if you thought perhaps CBD wasn't for you because of the strong taste, Try the capsules next if this if this method worked for you of course we hope you enjoyed these options that we gave you 
We hope you all test them out. And if you test out any of these methods, let us know in the comments below. If you have another awesome way of taking your CBD oil that helps minimize the taste, let us know in the comments below as well. Make sure you like and subscribe this video if you enjoyed it and check out our other videos as well. If you would like to join our CBD community, head over to our Facebook or down to the link below or you'll find our amazing CBD group on Facebook. You can ask any questions you want. We've got lovely people in the group that will help answer your questions and hopefully see you there. And if not, we'll see you for the next video. Bye.